the end of the day. If it ain't about me, Wendy Williams, I got her some young D. Next case. Now, before I get into this next story, I want to take a moment of silence for the individual that lost their life during this mess. So next on this docket, we have Naima and Isha. Now if y'all remember a while back, um, Naima and Isha, they were going back and forth. It was a long time ago, a whole bunch of mess was going down. Everybody was just going crazy. This is when Naima was coming to Atlanta, and she came down here with her friend named Rail. Now I'm gonna take y'all back down the timeline, but you know, we'll just go with what is allegedly. So. Naima came down here with Rail, and Rail and them were with, I guess, Brandon and all them. I think Isha and them were with her as well, if I'm not mistaken. This is months back again. Rail was ready to go, because he was ready to meet somebody else. And because Naima was taking so long, Rail was getting a little agitated, and he was like, can we go, can we go, can we go? And Naima told him, if you're ready to go, you can go. So Rail then went back, allegedly, and told Isha and them that Naima said, if we want to go, we can go. We can get out her car, whatever, whatever. And that's not what Naima said. Naima said, Real, if you want to go, you can go. And so it then caused a whole bunch of drama. And that's when Isha got mad at Naima and was like, if you don't want me to ride with you, you could have told me. And things just went crazy from there. People went live. They start, They had one fight. That fight happened. And then Naima ended up going live again, saying she had spit on Isha. Isha heard it. Then it came to another fight. It was just craziness just crazy 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 stuff died down naima keep talking rail here he fussing and it had caused other people to start fighting um it was some of the gay boys they started fighting one of them got jumped it was a whole lot a whole lot of so then naima ends up going home months later rail goes home to rail's car ends up getting vandalized he says naima did it they end up going to court from what we saw on the internet um, just a whole bunch of mess. It just start getting too crazy. If y'all remember, I said this stuff needs to stop or somebody's going to get hurt. That is what I said after Rail's car got messed up. I was like, okay, now they're taking it too far. These people vandalizing people's stuff. Someone's going to get hurt. So that brings us to now. Everything had died down. Everything was good. Naima then goes live and she's live with her mother and things were said. Ain't nobody saying no Easter story. Ain't nobody give a shit about that chick or any of this bullshit. I really wish y'all stopped talking about that bitch. She's not relevant anymore. Let that shit the f go. Isha heard that and then she responds. You feel me? Like, so you, she got the little video of her, but it seemed like you on live saying it ain't no beef. I ain't worried about the girl. We doing our own thing. But you got it on your spam. Like, and my mama said what she said, like, you supposed to be popping your shit. Don't get it twisted, bitch, because you know how I'm coming. Don't get it twisted. You get hyped when you got your little folks behind you, bitch. I, don't, I step on my own, bitch. I'm sitting right here on my, by myself. I do this on my own. If my sisters need to get involved, they get involved. That's, this is just that. But, baby, don't, don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't sit and say, like, and she said what she, and she said what she said, like, and I'm saying what I'm saying. If y'all not having no real pressure for real, Stop coming to me about this girl. I don't give a f about her, her mama, sister, daddy, uncle, cousin, baby, sister. I don't give a f I do not give a f Like, she's old news to me. That was, I think, a month before or whatever. I'm not sure on another timeline, but it's almost a month before she's going to come here to Atlanta. But I'm going to leave it at this, and I'm about to get off. I'll be at ATL June 8th. I got a whole event out there. If it's pressure, pop out. It's nothing. And then she was also on the stage saying, I even pay their way to get in if they think they that bad. So, like, you're initiating it. Knowing you done already got beat up twice by this girl. You got beat up twice by Isha. So, why do you keep provoking this girl knowing that she's going to respond? And that's basically what it is. She knows Isha's going to respond. So, she's provoking Isha. Knowing she ain't going to fight. Knowing she can't beat up Isha. So, now I don't even know why Isha mad. Because Isha already knows she can beat up Naima. So, at this point, y'all are dragging the whole issue. You're dragging it. You're dragging it. So anyway, Naima gets here. 
And she already knows Isha gonna push up. Cause when Isha says she gonna push up and you invited her to push up, she gonna come. So Naima goes to the Henny house and she has an interview. We here with Naima, PYT. We out here with her whole gang. Y'all popped out deep for the show tonight. The show is at 8.30 for everybody that doesn't know that's in the ATL area. Come out to the show tonight. Now in this internet, if y'all heard in that interview, they said some things. Them Instagrammers don't come out the house because they be whacking real life, man. I'm 20 years old. I'm grown as hell. I don't got All time right. for no little ass kid beef. This beef that y'all keep bringing back That's up right. that happened so long ago. Y'all bitches is pressed. So if you're going to follow me, follow that. Don't follow me at all. And that's all I got to say. She get her relevancy from being herself. We won't have to talk about other people. They gonna should ignite now here. Hey, man. I get, I get death row vibes right now. <laughs> hey, welcome to motherfucking death row, nigga. 2.0. Yeah, if I can't, I, if I can't put nobody in the ground, I don't give a fuck. Wait a minute. Why does it have to be that serious? Why are we killing? Why are we? Why are we gotta put somebody in the ground? If yeah, I can't, I, if I can't put nobody in the ground, I don't give a fuck. You always gonna see her with the gang. You ain't gonna never ever see her by herself ever ever again. You know what I'm saying? Hey, right. if it's up there, stuck there, I got shooters everywhere. You dig? And a lot of these niggas' birth certificates say New York. We just live in the states that we said. So we uh, today is the day. Like, if you want to go there, we can go there. All, right, all the bullshit. I'm out on parole in two different states. You heard me? Yeah. Hey, look, my uh. <laughs> Swelly TV, bitch, and my name bring the whole city out. Look, yeah. if it's up there, stuck there, we in your city with the big sticks. You heard, you don't want to get stepped on today. Let's get it. So now it brings us to her tour date, the party here. So I have to insert this clip here because I had left something out. So what they said was, before they even got to the party, Naima tried to apologize to Isha before the party started and Isha didn't want to hear it. She screenshotted it, she put it up on the page and showed everybody that Naima was trying to apologize. So at this point, it it's just a whole bunch of whatever. Cause if she tried to apologize, then now why are you texting her behind the scenes saying, let's fight? It's just a mess. Isha and them pull up. I don't know how it goes, I wasn't there. They were saying the security guard wasn't letting them in. They saw Naima running the back, get into a sprinter van, whatever the case may be. I don't know how all that shit went down. I don't wanna make up no lie. I just know they pushed up, which they shouldn't have pushed up because you already know you're going there to fight, which you should not have went. Just don't even worry about it. She shouldn't have invited them to come. Cause you already know what that's gonna do. You're provoking them. Naima said Isha Cruz shot first. Isha Cruz said Naima's Cruz shot first. At this point, I don't know. But all I know is an innocent boy who is 18 years old, who has a baby on the way anytime now, who came with Na who came with Isha, has been shot in the back of the head and twice in the chest. I think that's what his girlfriend said on her Instagram page. Um and he has lost his life because of some foolishness that y'all could not let go. Stupid. People start taking to the Instagram, they start posting stuff, all his friends, now they scared. These kids are 14, 15, 17, and 18 years old. Naima, you lame. Kenny didn't have nothing, Kenny didn't have nothing to do with this. And he, he lost his life. Bro, this on Instagram beat. Somebody in my DM talking about some. She's saying that I'm next. And bitch, I could never be worried about being shot, okay, Mr. Mama? For him to be dead, bro, that's so fucked up. Like, he didn't never do nothing wrong for to nobody. Like, close the door, mom. Close the door. You putting us at the fucking thing. Care, bro? Yo, that's so bitch. Y'all, they, they snuck this girl out the back door, bro. They, they snuck her out in the back door, y'all. Snuck this bitch in the back. Sn snuck her through the back door. Put her in the sprints and cut all the lights off and pull it off. She didn't even... She pulled off. I let. I told him. I said, we was on our way back. We was on our way back. When we came out there, it was 11. Y'all weren't even there. 
Come on now, we pull back up on y'all hoes. Pull back up on y'all hoes. Y'all y'all snuck her out the back, bro. The folks in there snitched on her. They said she snuck out the back, bro, and pulled off in the sprinter, y'all. They still telling us to come, but it was a whole setup. Y'all had them little baby ass guns. We aired that shit, y'all. Y'all was running. Fuck you, somebody, bro. Yeah, but we pulled up. Well, of course, I wasn't coming. Out here with guns, and they're fighting over. I beat your ass. Or over. I wanna have clout. Because when you talk about it, your views go up. Or, or these kids, and I'm not trying to be mean to the fans, but y'all, some of y'all are 18, and you got your fans who are 11 and 12. Y'all let these, no offense to the viewers, but y'all let these 11 and 12 year olds get y'all this routed up. I ain't even gonna put it on them. Y'all grown enough to know, fuck it, and let something go. Cause I was gonna say, y'all let these little kids talk y'all up to fight each other and now do this. Because y'all want to put on for them. But really, at the end of the day, it is y'all. It's you two. I'm not trying to be rude, but it's Isha and Naima. Y'all should have just dropped it. Period. At the end, it should have been dropped. It should have been dead. Isha, you whooped her ass twice. Naima, you got your ass beat. Fuck it. You ain't going to beat her ass. Now a boy is gone. Y'all are here with your family. I get to still dance on Instagram. Do what the you want to do. Have fun. Live your life. All this going to die the down one day. And it's going to be over with two months from now. And that boy is still gone. Because he was helping a friend. I'm not saying he was perfect. Yes, I know he was a part when he jumped tired. He was a, when he jumped out to go with all them boys. Horrible. But that is not a reek what you sow situation. So then after that, all that stuff went down. The boy lost his life, which I really hate. Then Ty the Goat goes live and says this. Not <laughs> shit doing it. Kenny got not shot. Either. That's what he did. Uh I don't care. That's what he did. You no, should never been at the wrong place at the wrong time. You gotta drive tonight. You can't be saying that. I mean, no. That's what you did. You can't. You can't. Thank you. That is not bad. That is a pussy. A coward. You're scary. A punk. Not the gay stuff that y'all are using the terms for punk and pussy and all that stuff. No. The real definition. Soft. Timid. Sick. Weak. Put the, if you really want to solve a problem, talk it out. If you really want to solve a problem, turn away and go another way and say F you and prove it with your money that you make. Prove it with your prove it with you excelling in life. If you really want to be a, a guy and tough, fight them with your hands. Take your win or loss and move on. That's that's the real man. That's real strength. That's real courage. All that gun shit. Stupid.